So we are making our beef shawarma, which is our signature dish. Shawarma, so we're looking at uh, what's gonna be a tower of meat here? It is. Uh, I've never actually seen how these towers get built. So how do you even get started here? So we started by slicing the top round and marinate it for around 18 to 24 hours. The marination comes from lemon juice, extra virgin olive oil, our spices, we mix it all together. So first, we go with the base and we put just like, you know, two to three pieces of the top round all together. And that's what's gonna carry the whole stacks of meat. All right. So it goes first, that's our base. And are you building one of these every single day? We built around six of these every single day, yes. So there's a lot of slicing. There's just a lot of, this is a labor intensive process, right? It now. is. Okay, so as you can see, Seth, then we have like one layer of the lamb fat and that's gonna keep the juiciness, okay? So we put it directly after like three to four layers of the top round, press it. Is this gonna give some extra flavor to it or just to keep uh, it based? Flavor, of course, of the lamb fat. And at the same time, because it goes like, you know, around 18 hours on the, uh, on the machine, so it doesn't burn. Got it, got it. So, so it's gonna keep it nice and basted throughout the entire yep. cooking process. After Chef Ali finishes stacking the enormous tower of meat, Layering the top round with trimmings and lamb fat, it's added to the shawarma machine to begin cooking. 45 minutes later, it will be ready to eat. Okay, so now it has been cooking for 45 minutes. Okay, I shave it once during that time. I mean, it is cooked and we're ready to go. All right, so the most fun part here, and I'm guessing there's a lot of skill involved with shaving it just right. It oh, is. Okay. okay, so we have like, our thumb pressing on it. Then I go in, okay and I start shaving without going inside it. So it's only like, you know, the cooked part of it. Just right on the outside. Yep. Okay. Just no. right on the outside. And letting the knife kind of do the work? That's it, the knife does the work. Okay, and now Seth, do you want to play it? I'll give it a shot. Let's see how I do here. Let's see. All right, put it up here, just, yep. just the weight. Oops. Just that, yeah, <laughs> let the knife do the work. I'm not sure this is my forte you just got yet, it. chef. <laughs> There we go. Here we go. Oh, I like these little uh, these little charred bits here at the top. Hey, Seth, I see you're already trying to cut the shawarma. Yeah, I don't think I'm quite ready just yet uh, to be working your line here. I'm very impressed with the, the level of skill involved with both building the tower and also cutting it. So. You're doing good the first time. You're doing good. <laughs> now we're moving to make the pita. Okay, let me give this back to okay. you. Okay, so. so let me get this for you. The best part is for you to just grab a piece right off from fresh from the spit. All right, let me give it a shot here. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. That's just awesome. The meat is juicy, but you still get that nice little charred bit on the edge. So how do you turn this into a uh, to a sandwich? Uh, okay, so here we go. I got our pita. Okay, so you got the amount of meat that you need. Okay, with red onion, tomatoes, pickles, and the fresh mint. And of course, then we go to the sauce, which is the tahini sauce. Okay, we wrap it, and then usually we toast it, okay? But what I'm gonna do is like, you know, that's the Lebanese style on it. <laughs> I like that. That's one way to get char on your that sandwich. That is, <laughs> then we just wrap it, and it's ready to go. A munchy shawarma pita, all right. That's our signature. That's just awesome, guys. <laughs> Those little bits you added for a little acidity, like the onions and the tomatoes, and the pickles kind of have an unusual flavor as well. So the pickles we import from Lebanon. So it's a type of pickle that adds crunchiness and acidity. It's not like an American dill pickle. So it's key to shawarma. The tahini too is a really generous portion, but it really, really helps make the sandwich. Yes, and like we import the tahini, it's Lebanese tahini, so it's a distinct flavor. The sesame seeds are cooked. But I can also imagine two in the morning, three in the morning, this could really hit the spot. It hits the spot and you go to bed like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll say, you know, as somebody who's had shawarma plenty of times, I've never given a lot of thought to what actually goes into building one of these towers and cutting it. There's a real skill and an art that obviously I'm not ready <laughs> for just yet. 
Thank, Thank you, you, Ali. Thank Thanks, you. Dave. Thanks for uh, letting me try this. This is great.